Hello, good afternoon everyone. Welcome one and all. Hope everyone's having a nice day today. How are we all today? Um just getting everything sorted, just loaded up the save. Give us a few seconds to get going. Uh trying to Yeah, well let me. Um I tried to get the overlay to work for Twitch so I can see the chat on the game, but I can't seem to just get it right just yet. So I need to check with that. But anyway, people who weren't here yesterday, just a quick little catch up, really. First of all, thank you to everyone for supporting me. Thank you for everyone contributing yesterday. I really do appreciate it. Um, oh, pardon me. Um, yeah. Like I said, I'm all over the place. Just give me a minute. It don't make any difference at the moment because nobody's in there at the moment, I don't think. But if you are, hello. I apologise. We are in... live stream. This is the 12th live stream I've done. I need to edit that and see. Um, chat. Let me chat gone. Is it now? with me uh it's my no yes. oh god how do i get me chat up on here now on ah there we go sorry about that right hello anybody that's in the chat room if you're in Feel free to message me. Um, yeah, thank you for everyone that, that joined in yesterday. I appreciate the, the people that interacted with me. Much appreciated. Thank you to the people who continue to subscribe to my Twitch and also my YouTube. Much appreciated. I I started a new Twitter page yesterday. So um, my Twitter page is the same name, Lutra FM. Search me on Twitter and Facebook with Lutra FM. You should be able to find pretty easy. So yeah, um, let's just do a quick recap where we are. So at the moment, we are currently fifth in the Premiership, 34 games played. We've got 63 points. We, we've got a small chance of getting top four. Um, we've only got a few games left now. We've got four games left. They're all relatively winnable. So that helps. Um, whereas, let's have a look and see who... Liverpool have got for the rest of their season. Liverpool have got they've got the Europa League as well to concentrate on, but they're playing. They've got two relatively easy games, and then they've got Wolves and Tottenham. So you never know. But anyway, we are playing Crystal Palace now. Um, the lineup for that is Pope in goal, Libramenta as right back, Diamande and Eho as centre backs, Target on as left back. Sergio Busquets and Lionel Messi in midfield. Um, and then we've got Almiron on the right, Pedro Gonzalez on the in the middle, sorry, Gordon on the left, and Osimhen up front. Let's see if we can start this stream strong. I want to try and win all four games that are left in the season. We want to try and get Champions League football because it'll help us get better players. If we don't get Champions League football, we're going to be a bit not going to be able to get the players that we want i'm still annoyed that we didn't we didn't we weren't title contenders this year gordon then leading with the goal hope everyone's okay it's bloody cold today isn't it um yeah not not good at all got my quilt over my legs just to keep me warm i haven't really done much today i did um I did some 99p auctions on my eBay shop, so I had a, I, I had like 50 sales. Um, I sent out 35 of them two days ago, and then today I sent out the remaining 15, so that took me a while. Not as long as the other day, 35 parcels to try and find, bag up, print off the labels, stick the labels, put them into bags, and then take them to the post office. It took me three and a half hours, so... Yeah, and I'm at a loss because I'm not making any money because I'm only getting 99p. eBay take their whatever percentage is. So I make about 80p. Awesome, and with the goal. 
Um, so yeah, so it was. It's 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 just a way of me getting rid of old stock, basically that I've had for a few years. That's just taken up room. I'm trying to. Down, I'm trying to get rid of a lot of my stock, basically, and concentrate on this a bit more. Do this a bit more. Um, as a way of eventually making money from it. Not that I'm gonna be. Not that I'm gonna assume I'm gonna make money off it, but it's more wishful thinking. So yeah, but yeah, just trying to get rid of as much old stock as possible. Free up a bit of room because me, like I said, my girlfriend moved in last week, so I'm trying to make room for her stuff as well. And all the men who have girlfriends or had girlfriends can uh, stick up for me here. And women have a hell of a lot of stuff, don't they? Hello, Zona. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. How are you today? Zona, mister. Sounds exotic. Are you on the side game forums? That name rings a bell for some reason. Almeron now drives it forward. Oh, nearly had a great goal there. Yeah, Rey Mysterio mask. You can't go wrong with a Rey Mysterio mask. Very comfy as well. I could wear this all day and it wouldn't bother me. Better than the other mask. The other mask I had on before was this Blue Demon wrestler mask and it was uh, it covered everywhere. I couldn't talk that well from the mask. This one's a lot better. You can see why Rey, the Rey Mysterio designed it like this, so it makes it easier for him to breathe and easier for him to talk. Yeah, thank you for joining, Zona Mister. I do appreciate it. I hope you're having a nice day. hope you're enjoying uh, your day. Crystal Palace now. Good tackle there. Go on. Go on, Ossiman. Zavez. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Come on, Almer. Gordon. Gordon with the cross. Oh, yes. Oh, here we go. Here comes the pantomime villain, the referee with the VAR. Ah, oh, these referees, they love attention, don't they? Hey, the referee's the hero. VAR, VAR. 2 0 up. Awesome men in line to get his hat trick, maybe. Yeah, just trying to keep warm at the moment. Not easy. My central heating, I've got no central heating in the flat I'm in. Um, they've got these storage heaters that take 24 hours to heat up. And I turned them off for a few days because I was away at my, uh, my girlfriend's. And like I said, I turned it on yesterday when I come back. And they've only just started to heat up a bit now. She's coming here later and she's not well. So it's a bit annoying in a way because it's not going to be warm enough for her. So I'm going to feel sorry for her. So I've got to try and... I've got a plug-in heater, but it costs an absolute fortune in electric. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Um, no, so this is my second season with Newcastle Zona Mister. Um, I will quickly... Uh, I can tell you, actually, the transfers we made. We signed Ossinhan, and we signed Messi, and then we signed... Um, I think we signed Diamande in the second season, but I could be wrong. Some of these were players that we signed but didn't come in until the summer, like Gonzalez. Um, from, we, we basically raided Sporting Lisbon because they've got a hell of a lot of good players. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, cheers, mate. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, it, it, it takes ages to heat up in here, but you know, you know what it's like. If you've worked... If you, oh, for God's sake. 2-1. If you've lived in a, in a dingy little flat, it, it, you know what it's like. But yeah, so I made some good signings. I signed Messi and I decided to sign all of the former Barcelona players like Luis Suarez and Jordi Alba. I had to sign Iniesta as well, but he, re he retired, so I couldn't sign him. I wanted to sign Ronaldo, uh, Cristina Ronaldo as well, but he retired as well, which is annoying. Gordon and um, Gonzalez there. We've uh, finished this game in style. But yeah, it's my second season. Coming to the end of the second season, so you... You, you're watching an interesting time in the save, really, because third season, depending on how much money I get, if I get Champions League qualification and stuff like that, hopefully I'll get a decent transfer budget. But yeah, Sport and Lisbon are just ridiculous for the amount of young talent they've got. Every season they'll just they'll make millions and millions. Um, right, so we're three points behind Manchester United now. Manchester United lost to Brentford. That gives us some hope. Is the top four dream still happening? Is it still on? 
Now, normally when I'm when I'm doing an offline save um, and when I'm doing my YouTube videos, I'll holiday in between matches. But like I said, somebody said yesterday that they liked watching this type of stuff. So, um, yeah, so I don't mind going through this. I'll do it a little bit slowly so it gives you a few seconds to read. I usually just click and click and if it's possible like I just did then. Yeah, Newcastle, it's one of them where they're not they're not a top four team just yet, but they've got the money to become a top four team, so it makes it interesting. And it also makes it a little bit interesting who you can sign. I was amazed I was able to sign uh Lionel uh the greatest of all time, Lionel Messi. Um I mean granted I did win the premiership in my first season, but I still was amazed I was able to sign him. What's what save are you doing at the moment, Zona? Who are you managing at the moment? Right, we've got Leeds United next. They're bottom. So they're either going to be trying to win like madmen, or they're just going to be rubbish and we're just going to steamroll past them. We'll, we'll soon find out. What do you do for work as well, Zona, if you don't mind me asking, unless, unless it's personal. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I'm just always curious what people do for a living. Yeah, Man United at the moment, they're uh, they're definitely a fallen giant save, really, but I think Man United on FM is too easy. They're, they're not reflected like in real life. It's very easy to win things with Man United. Um, I mean, it's all good me saying that as Newcastle United who's loaded, but um, Man United, they just seem to be able to track... Some, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's different on FM24, but as you said, you're having difficulty for signing good players, but... Um, yeah, you might you might be better off doing it as a youth only save. I've, I've done. I usually if I'm managing Man United, I usually only do it as a youth only save just to see if any of the young players in there end up becoming good players. Um, I mean Man United last night in the in the game they played against. Um, I thought it was only on last night. I can't remember they played. Um, Man United. Their bench literally consisted of all players from the youth academy because the, at the moment there um, there's a lot of injuries in the squad, so it might be worth you doing that as a interesting save considering that you the young players are being forced to play a few minutes here and there just out of just out of necessity. Yeah, they've also they've also. Um, They've also, yeah, that was it, Wigan. There you go. They've also, cheers for that. Um, yeah, the Saudi, I, I quite liked it when FM24 first came out when you had all the Saudi Arabian teams bidding absolute ridiculous amounts for your players. But they've tightened that now, which I think is a bit rubbish, to be honest. I think they should, I think the whole point of playing football manager is because it, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Obviously, some people like realism, and that's fair enough, but it should at least give you an option if you want Saudi Arabia to be dominant in the transfer window or not. Um, because I used to love that when I used to be able to get rid of some of the rubbish players, so the Saudi teams, for ridiculous amounts of money. Anyway, here's our lineup for the Leeds United game. We've got Sherpin in goal, Livermento is right back, Diomande, Iniecho in defence with Botman, Nali and Bruno in midfield, Almiron on the right, Raheem Diaz in the middle, Gordon on the left, and Izak up front. Yeah, so what... So um, one of the saves I might do on Twitch at some point is actually a youth-only save with, with Wigan Athletic. With my aim is to basically make them the 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 best, get them the best youth academy in England. So trying to just, so you know, I'm only gonna bring, I'm only gonna play players in my youth academy and the squad that I start with. 
because their finances are not the best either. So it might be a way of keeping the cost down and also help um, just keep bringing in money into the club through player sales. Because you only need one or two to go off and play for a premiership team and then do well. And then, and then you get like future fee clauses. Oh, here we go. Oh, nearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tenali does start with a gambling ban. Because I completely forgot that Newcastle had Tenali. So when I started this save in the second season, I saw Tenali line up in the team. And I was like, oh, yeah, I've got Tenali. I completely forgot about him. So, yeah, he does have a... Oh, what a goal. What a goal by Livramento. I'm going to watch that again. Let's slow it down. Um, yeah, like I said. Yeah, he had a gambling ban, but it ends in the first season, after the first season. So it's like having a new signing with him. But anyway, here's the goal again. What a goal by Livramento. He just absolutely blasted it in here. Gordon passed it to Livramento. Livramento looked up and just smacked it into the corner. What a goal. Yeah, Brighton's always a good save. If you can try and replicate Brighton's real life transfer policy, then it's good, but it's hard because you've got to get the players before anybody else heard them. But South America's just got a ridiculous amount of good players. In real life, I think Brighton's on the verge of signing Valentin Barco, who was basically he was basically a wonder kid on FM twenty four. I've signed him. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Um so yeah, so they've signed Barco, but there's other players. There's Luciano Rodriguez, there's Anderson Durate, there's a f there's loads. Um, so you could do that with Brighton, but obviously I think you've got to also look at players that um that are, like that we haven't even heard of on FM. You've just got to really use your scouts wisely for a, a, also search with through data, not necessarily through knowing players from previous saves or real life when you've been online and you've looked at the latest wonder kid list you've got to search by certain um certain data like i don't know xg or something like that but yeah brighton's a good save but you've really got to do it as a data type save you can do it properly to give it proper justice but i always have a save with southampton as a youth only save because of the amount of youngsters they've produced over the years like Gareth Bale, Theo Walcott, Alex, Alex Oxay Chamberlain, for instance, players like that, really. So, um, but yeah. All right, let's carry on with this now. Gordon on the left now drives it forward. What's he going to do? Loses the ball. That's not ideal. Yeah, uh, Southampton's academy is good. Uh, if you want to go a bit further down the leagues, Exeter's had a good record of... Oh, nearly. Um, Re Exeter's had a good record of producing some decent players over the years, like Ollie Watkins, and players like that. Um, Warsaw probably be a good team for League Two. They probably produce some good players there as well. Uh, if you want to go even further down, a AFC Sudbury's got... Really good youth facilities. Um, Boreham Woods been a team that's produced decent players for the EFL leagues over the years. Um, trying to think who else. Burton Albion's a really good one because they they use the facilities that the England national team use. So they've got like state of the art training and youth youth facilities. So the only thing you've got to improve is coaching and youth recruitment, which you can do over a certain amount of time. So they take the the least amount of money to do it. So you, within a couple of years, I was able to have, them, I, I maxed out all the facilities and all the coaching, and I was producing some really good young players, and I got promoted to the Premiership. So yeah, but yeah, Burton Albion, have a look on FM if you want. Um, in fact, while you're watching this, let me just get out of this. Uh, let me type in Burton, I'll show you on here now. Burton, clubs, Burton Albion. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Overview. There you go. Facilities. So they've got state-of-the-art training facilities and they've got superb youth facilities. So you just need to improve the youth level um, and the academy 
coaching and re youth recruitment. So that that can easily be done because they don't take they don't take much money to improve over time. Yeah, Burton Albion's a good little save. I did a save with Burton Albion a few FMs ago where I didn't sign I didn't sign I didn't pay any money for anybody, so I only signed free transfers, usually players released from premiership teams. I managed to sign this striker from a, a youth generous striker from Gibraltar who ended up just being ridiculously good and I sold him for like twenty million. Uh, and then I got promoted to the Premiership and then I got bored. <laughs> I always get bored when I get promoted with a small team like that if they get promoted to the Premiership. Like the, the most fun save I ever had was with Coventry City many, many FMs ago where they were really rubbish and they had literally no money to buy anybody. So you literally had to buy, you know, you had to sell your best players to balance the books and then try and replace them with free transfers every year. It was so, And I only just stayed up every season. Yeah. Uh, Coventry City. I've always had a soft spot for Coventry because of that save. Oh, nearly made it 3 0. Posting by at the moment in this game against Leeds. We need to take some players off though. Gordon will put on Maria. Take off Diaz, put Anderson. Who else is knackered? Tina, you've had a good game. We're going to take you off and put Cotez in. You go. Yeah, I think, like I said, with FM, this FM is a lot easier than other FMs, but I'm not saying that's a bad thing because it depends on what you look for on here. But yeah, I, I, um, I will be, like I said, this, this is my first save streaming, so I just wanted to get used to streaming and playing at the same time. Um, so in a couple of weeks' time, well, not even a couple of weeks' time, probably it's probably the end of next week, I'll be starting a new save, we'll probably do a European journeyman. So we'll, I'll start with no coaching badges, Sunday League rep, and then basically just apply for jobs, and then whichever job I get offered first, I will probably accept, and then I'll try and see how I get on with that, really, uh, see if I can work my way up into better jobs basically going to do it like it's real life so if i get offered a bigger paid job i will take it but if it's only going to be an extra hundred quid to move from england to play it to manage in spain or serbia for instance then i won't move because it doesn't make sense to move yeah leon i had a really good save with leon i um i downloaded this tactic that bust the net used for a Liverpool save that he did many FMs ago. And I, I replicated it for Leon and it, and it was a really good formation and worked really well. Um, so I enjoyed, I always enjoy managing in France. I do a lot of French league saves and at some point I will probably stream a French league save. I don't know who yet, but like I said, I'll do a few seasons. Um, and that I'm just I'm trying to replicate what other other content creators do. I don't want to do what I would do in real life, where I do a couple of seasons and then get bored, and then end up trying to manage somebody else. Yeah, I, I download loads of tactics from all sorts of places, from the workshop, from uh, FM Scout, and that. But for me, Everton save on YouTube, for instance, I actually created my own tactic, which I've never done before. Really, I don't think I've done. So, uh, and it worked out all right, actually. I was lucky though, but yeah, I usually I'm too lazy. I usually just download a tactic that I like the look of, and then I'll use it. But yeah, Leon, Leon's a good save to do. I'm just holidaying in between this game. I forgot, I forgot not to holiday, so I apologise for people. But we'll go through all the news inbox items um anyway so you you won't miss it it just quickens it up a little bit just want to try and get to the next game really wait where in the where are you from then zona are you from uh are you from the uk or I had a nice conversation with someone on here a couple of days ago from from netherlands he was talking to me about the Netherlands national team and the team he supports, PSV. So I was getting educated on that. That was a nice experience. Uh, 
Right, nearly coming to the end of the holiday. There we are. 77 items. Let's hopefully none of them are major injuries because that would be annoying. So, uh, right, let's just go through these as quickly as we can. And Lee Boa, former Newcastle player, Lee Boa. And Danielle De Rossi, former Roma player. Uh, for him, and Ashworth. And Tenali, vice captain. Yeah, Mande injured for three, four weeks. That's not good. Oh, sorry, Josh. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I didn't realize it was you, mate. Uh, anybody watching on Twitch, me and Josh have known each other for a few years. We um, we are a fan, fan of wrestling, but we I, I knew Josh because he used to do a... Well, he's, we both used to play this game called... Total Extreme Warfare, I think. It's basically a, uh, the, a wrestling version of Football Manager called TEW. And he used to post how he would get... He used to do his own diary where he, man, he, man, he was the promoter of uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. And I, and I really liked how he did the layout of his diaries. So I messaged him and uh, talked to him about it. And then we added each other on Facebook. And even though we've never met, we've been... Um, good friends for for quite a few years now, haven't we, Josh? But um, it, Josh, poor Josh, hasn't been very well lately. He was in hospital over Christmas, but touch wood, you're feeling better now, aren't you, Josh? So hopefully you're over the worst of it, my friend. But yeah, me and Josh have occasionally had uh, done a few saves on Football Manager network games together. Um, I think Josh was it was it you that was. Oh, yeah, I know. See, I, I'm the opposite as you, Josh. I get bored of playing TEW, but you, you seem to like it. I do auto booker on TEW because I can't be bothered with all that. But, yeah, um, but I never really get bored of playing Football Manager. I did nearly get bored at one point playing playing last year's version of it because it, it just felt like I was playing FM22. But at least it's a bit different, this one. Yeah, no, I'm glad. I'm glad you're alright, mate. I'm glad you're feeling better. I was a bit worried about you when you messaged me about your leg. Oh uh, yeah. Um, if Josh lived closer to me. I'd have, I'd have come and meet and could have met him for a drink at some point. But he lives all the way down south, whereas I live in the middle of in the Midlands. So uh, I don't drive, so it's not the best. But we'll we'll probably meet up one day, Josh. You never know when we were like eighty or something. Um. Right, so we've got Pope in goal, Trippier's right back, Cotez and Botman in defence with Target on the left, Bruno and Tonali in the middle, Messi comes back on the right, Raheem Diaz in the middle with Gonzalez on the left, and Osimhen is back up front. Yeah, we both don't drive, do we, Josh? It's, it's, it's one of them, mate. If I ever come to Brighton, I'll let you know. I'll meet up with you. Me and, me and my partner will meet up with you and your missus or something at some point. Um, I might suggest it to her at some point that we go away for Brighton when it's the summertime. It'd be nice to meet up with you for a couple of drinks. It'd be really weird, though, wouldn't it, actually meeting up in person? Because we, we've, never, we've never met in person, so... It won't be weird, weird, but you know what I mean. We'll just talk about football and uh, football manager and wrestling, and our, and our, our girlfriends can just talk about anything else. <laughs> we'll do a pub quiz. My girlfriend literally knows everything about everything. She's very knowledgeable, so she'd be good. She'd be good in a quiz team. Whenever, whenever me and her go around my mates, because we, my mate likes to, we, we, she likes to do board games and stuff like that. And we use, and whenever I have to team up with someone, I always make sure I team up with her because she's usually the smartest one in the room. <laughs> 
no uh, like a good team captain me I, I play to my strengths but yeah Brighton Brighton doing well this season Josh I know they won the other day I think they won the other day didn't they right Messi with the free kick All right, Botman in the middle. Bruno, nice little back heel to Tenali. Tenali gets the goal, get in. Lovely little team goal that was. Yeah, they smashed Spurs the other day. The reason why I remember is because uh, my dad's a Spurs fan, so he was not happy. So yeah, cheers for that, Josh. Squid game, board game, bloody hell. Did anybody die in that? No, I, can't, I didn't want to watch the show because I've seen the trailer and I heard loads of people talk about it and I just thought, one, it's probably not really going to be my thing and two, it's probably going to give me nightmares. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't watch horror films for the same reason because the, the images just stay in my head and then I'll recreate them in my dreams. Ivan Tony scoring against his former club. Have I got Ivan Tony on my shortlist? No. He's put him on my shortlist. I might bring him back to Newcastle. I might bring him or Mitrovic back, depending on... Oh, no, I can't bring Mitrovic back, and he's on too much money in Saudi Arabia. Come on, we need to get this. We need to win this game. We need to keep winning. We need to give us at least a shout of getting top four. Oh, yeah, me and my, me and my girlfriend did that the other day on Netflix. I, I, I couldn't find anything. In the end, I gave her the control, and I just said, just put on what you want to put on. We're working our way through The Crown. She's watched it before, but she wanted me to watch it with her again. So I've been watching The Crown. I think we're on season three of The Crown or something like that. Um, and then we watch, we usually watch Taskmaster. We're working our way through them. Uh, our, our Brooklyn Nine-Nine, we're working our way through them. And then sometimes we'll put something different on. Um, sometimes Because I've got Disney, she likes to watch her old Disney films and stuff like that. And the Pixar stuff, so I just let her watch. I usually let her watch that, and I'll I'll put me headphones on and I'll watch something on my laptop or stuff like that. So um, yeah, give and take, you know what it's like. You've been with your wife now for a while now. How long have you been with your wife for now, Josh? A few years now. It ain't felt like yesterday that you were uh, you, you were single and you were you went on and you told me about her. You said oh you went on a date and I was like well. Fingers crossed for you, and the next thing I know, you're uh, you're living together and getting married. What? Yes, that's why he's the goat. Lionel Messi. Can I sign him to a new contract? Contract expires next year. Can I get him a new? No, he won't. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Shame we're only going to have him for the summer uh, for this season. I think. Yeah, we watched Lion King a few week, a few months ago. Um, yeah, it was quite a good Lion King. She told me there was a second. I watched. The, I think we watched Lion King two as well. I, I completely forgot there was a second Lion King. Why is that going really slow all of a sudden? Ah, oh, there we go. Well, yes, Messi, the greatest of all time. Going out strong here. He's going to make it his mission to get us top four because he wants to play Champions League football next year. One point behind Liverpool now, but they got a game ahead of us. Really could do with them losing that game. All right, Messi now. A man possessed. Determined to get his at-trick at this rate. Go on, Trippier. Give it to Messi. Give it to Messi. Give it to Messi. Ah, but they gave it to Messi. Yeah, my girlfriend absolutely loves anything to do with the royal family and stuff like that. She's very knowledgeable and stuff like that about it. She, uh, oh, 3-2, squeaky bum time. VAR going to help us? 
Um, but yeah, she she loves the royal family stuff. I learned so much by watching The Crown about the royal family and about things that happened back in them days that I didn't even know. Right, come on, let's just see this game out now. Let's just no, 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 no. <laughs> Josh, keep your fingers crossed. Thank God for that. Come on. Right, let's uh, do that. Waste time. Just do some wasting time. Oh, no. Here we go. Last kick of the game, and they're going to bloody score, aren't they? Josh, if this goes in, it's your fault. All right, never talking to you again. All right, buddy. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh. Whew. Our friendship is saved, Josh. You can relax for another day. All right, good little win there. Still fifth, though. Really could, really could do with Liverpool losing, to be honest. Uh, Liverpool's got a game ahead of us. Arsenal's got a game ahead of us, but we're not going to be able to catch up with them anyway. Tottenham are on the same amount of games as us. So we're either going to be fifth or fourth, basically. Between us and Liverpool, Liverpool, they have got they've got two more game Premiership games left. They've got Wolves and Tottenham. They've also got a Europa Cup final to uh, sort out, and we've got one game left against Aston Villa. So we need to win this game, whatever happens. Um, is there any teams in the? Is there any English teams in the Champions League? Because that might help us when it comes to getting Champions League places. Club competitions. Club competitions. Oh, where is it? Um, hold on. Bear with us. Right, Champions League. There we go. PSG versus Real Madrid. So that's not good. We could have done with an English team in that one. Oh well. What will be will be. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if they're going to do... I don't know if they're just teasing The Rock and he might come down at WrestleMania um, or he might help Cody Rhodes win and then they might do like a year-long storyline. I don't think he's going to be at this WrestleMania. I think they're just teasing it for now. It all depends on The Rock's schedule and stuff like that, but I don't think... I know everyone assumes it's going to be Roman Reigns versus The Rock at WrestleMania this year, uh, this year coming up. I don't know if it's going to be that. I think they're still going to pull the trigger on Cody Rhodes, but they're going to have like the Rock as special ref or, or be in the corner of Cody Rhodes to make sure that the bloodline don't interfere. And then Roman Reigns will probably turn on, like he'll probably attack the Rock after the match. Um, and then they'll just do, then they'll be spend the whole year building to that. Because Roman Reigns can lose the title, but still stay as a dominant person. And he can always win the title back at SummerSlam. So they'll give it to Cody for six months because the whole thing, the whole storyline is Cody Rhodes winning the title. It's not necessarily him keeping the title, it's winning the title in the first place. So he could lose it within a month. It would tarnish his his reign as champ as uh, champion because if he, he lost it after a month, that'd be shit. But I don't think Triple H is going to do that. I think Triple H will do the right thing, keep on Cody for six months, and then he'll lose to Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. You never know, Roman Reigns might just take um, six months off and have a rest because he's, I know he doesn't wrestle as much as he used to, but he doesn't, he could have a break six months. They've got enough people there that, that can, uh, that can, you know, like, like CM Punk and Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre. They've got enough people there with Cody Rhodes, Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso. They've got enough people to, in the mix. That they, he would be a loss, but he wouldn't be a, ma a, a major loss, as you think, because he doesn't wrestle that much in the first place. Most of the weekly storylines don't involve him as much, depending on the storyline. Yeah, the less we say about uh, Matt Riddle, the better, because he's, uh, he's a very naughty boy. But yeah, it's good that Ziggler and Ziggler's in New Japan. Hopefully he'll do well there. I still haven't watched. I've got so much wrestling to catch up on. I'm trying to catch up on the AEW stuff. I'm I'm literally two weeks behind. I I haven't watched. I'm just working my way through 
I've got I've got AW Collision from two weeks ago, and then I've got the the pay per view they did, and then all of last week's stuff to watch, and then I, and then I would like to watch uh, Wrestle Kingdom at some point because I usually don't watch and I usually don't watch New Japan. I usually watch I always usually watch Wrestle Kingdom. And sometimes I watch the the show they do the next day with the the big the big Royal the big Royal Rumble thing they do. That's usually a lot of fun. I think CM Punk will make a big difference to WWE though, to be honest, because he's a, he's all that everybody talks about. Um, and as long as he doesn't sulk, as long as he doesn't have any falling outs. It's, this is his last chance, basically, to do it at a big stage. I don't think he's ever going to go back to AEW, but never say never. But basically, this is his last chance. And he also, I think he's also said privately to people that he didn't respect the people in AEW, so that's why he didn't, that's why he behaved how he behaved, or something on that line. Whereas he's got more respect for the main eventers in WWE and, and how WWE is run. Which is kind of contradicting to what he said when he went to AW originally, because he was all about hating WWE and, and putting them down. So it was a bit, as a CM Punk fan, it was a bit, it was a bit shit for me to watch him go back to WWE. But I'm just glad he's back, to be honest. Um, Ryan and Harry Valiant doing well in the transfer market by the looks of it. Let's see who they've signed. Who have they sold? Sold a few players. They haven't. They haven't done what they usually do and sell loads of players for lots of money. Well, how did they do last season? Um, they sold Adam Webster to a Saudi Arabian team. That was a decent deal for Man United to sign uh, Ruinotte. He's he's pretty he's pretty good. Yeah. Right. Villa next game. Last game of the season though. Hopefully get this done and then we can do a bit of the transfer window before I head off. Right then, Sherpin in goal, Libramento as right back, Cotez and Ineccio in defence with Botman, Sergio Busquets in midfield with Joe Linton, Lionel Messi as right wing, Almiron in the middle, Gordon on left and Isaac up front. Last game of the season, let's see what we can do. Hello to anyone that's joined the Twitch. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Feel free to message in the chat room. If any of your wrestling fans, feel free to join in the conversation with me and Josh. Yeah, I think I think the problem with CM Punk, like a lot of people when they get a certain age, they end up hating people younger than them because they just think differently. And because CM Punk's always done things a certain way, he went from being the rebellious young wrestler, the cool rebellious wrestler to be in everybody's dad moaning about how the youth are today are. And that's the that's the thing. And that's why he got his hair off with a lot of the young wrestlers. And that's why he had fallings out. Because you think about it, he fell out with Jungle Boy, he fell out with the young books. Um he fell out with Kenny Omega who were about ten years younger than him. I could be wrong on that one, but they might not be ten years younger than him, but they're a few years younger than him. And it does make a difference. Um I've got friends that are about 10 years old, 10 years younger than me, sorry, and they just think completely different to I do, but it's not a bad thing. Oh, oh, we caught up here. Oh, for God's sake. That was a ridiculous defensive error. Adam Page, yeah, another young wrestler. They're probably very progressive, and I'm not saying Punk's not progressive, because he is, he is about um, sticking up for people and different groups and things like that but i just think he just i think he just didn't like it i think he liked it there initially and then realized that the people there were probably too young he should have just stuck to the people that the uh that were in his age group like he should have just hung out with he hung out with brian danielson quite a bit and christian um samoa joe so he should have just not got involved with the rest of them but yeah it's wrestling there's always falling out at least it's not as bad as it used to be in the uh, in the nineties, isn't that? Right, we need to we need to do something about this game. Yeah, true. You never know. Oh, we've lost the ball here. Come on. 
Oh, for God's sake. Well, we ain't going to get top four then. Uh, top five it is then. Unless we somehow come back and win. But yeah, not looking good. Come on. They're all over us in this game. We can't. We're not getting anywhere here. They're going to score again, aren't they? Oh, no, they don't. I'm top of that. Right, come on. Can I can I shout? Can I shout, please? Can I, can I, you know, I don't understand why I've got to wait. Well defended by us, but they're getting it back. Can we get, can we make something out of this? Or is it, there we go, right. Uh, right, substitution time, I think. Um, Isaac, you're coming off. Messi, you're coming off. Ali Coop, the new Messi, Ali Coop. I'll leave that for now. We've got a goal back. I missed it because I was fixing my bloody mask. But is VAR going to rule it out? Probably. Yes. Ali Ali Coop with the assist. I thought he scored. Right, let's watch this again because I missed this. Uh, we had a throw in. Gordon in the middle. Joe Linton. Drove it forward to Coop. Coop with a beautiful little ball. Right. Let's at least try and get a draw out of this. Still got plenty of time. We can still get a winner here. Right. We've, we've turned things around here. I think we were uh, worrying. Oh, good. I from my big mouth. Why didn't I just say, oh, there we go. Got it back. Yeah, relax, Richard. Relax. Right, Anderson now drives it forward. We lose the ball, though. That's not good. Get it back, get it back, get it back. Livermento, run, 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 run. Mancini, slide tackle. No. Yes. Well done, well done. Defended well. Come on. Still got 20-odd minutes to go. Man United are going to be fourth, though. They're, they're winning. Even if we won this game, we wouldn't have been able to get fourth place. I still think we might get Champions League with fifth place. I could be wrong. Josh, the fifth place get fifth place get um Champions League football. Oh, here we go. And Gordon now. Oh. Right, we've got a corner. Come on. Come on, get a late equalizer. No, lose the ball. Villa on the uh, on the turn now. A player called Blum. Oh, well. Top five it is. Yeah, I think, I think. Yeah, I know, I don't know. I'll just assume that we end. But that's a bittersweet hill, that is. We didn't do very well in the the start in the middle of the season. We could we took us ages to get any form. So we'll just assume we're playing Europa League next year. Which is annoying. But if we win the Europa League, we get in the Champions League next season, so we'll try and win that. Give us another trophy. I've won the premiership in the first season. I didn't win anything this season, which is annoying. Um but it is what it is. Is there any games left? That's it now, isn't it? Yeah. we just got to wait now, I think. Because Liverpool's playing. Yeah, I signed, I signed De Gea in my first season at Newcastle. Um, so he went to me. And then he kicked off because he wasn't playing as much. So I sold him. And I sold him for a decent amount of money, to be honest. Uh, David De Gea. So... We signed him on a free transfer and we sold him for literally 15 million after he only played four games. So it was pretty good business there, transfer business by us. But um, he's gone down terribly. I mean, I mean, look, the scout report says only sign as a last resort, which is a shame. He's only 34 years old. He's still got a lot to give. So, um, yeah, it's a shame it didn't work out for him in the end. He was... Um, 
a legend at Man United, in my opinion. He he didn't he, he should have got more credit than he did, and now with a Nana in goal, I do wish at times we had De Gea in there because he's a bit he's a bit better, I think. But other people will disagree with me on that one. Yeah, it was good a bit good bit of business, to be honest. Yeah, that's the end of the season. So let's just give you a quick overview. So we were we end up fifth in the league, seventy two points there. We were 10 points behind Man City who won the title. We didn't get Champions League by the looks of it, but I could be wrong. Um, let's have a look at player stats. Austin the Hem was our top goal scorer with 23 goals for the season in 35 games. We end up we signed him for 86 million, and he's now valued at 170, 186 million. So if we sold him, we'd make 100 million profit, but I don't want to sell him. Anthony Gordon was our best, highest average rating. He got seven goals and 12 assists, 25 games. Average rating of 7.32. And then most assists was Kieran Trippier, who got 13 assists. He's getting on a bit now, but he still can do the job. Pardon me. And Angel Correa, he got 13 assists and nine goals. I probably will look to sell him, though, just because I reckon we'd probably get some decent money for him, and he's... He's only a three-star player now, so I think we could might best to cash in on him now. Um, Turpin was the surprise of the season because he was only backup goalkeeper, but he ended up becoming a main goalkeeper. But we do definitely need to improve on... That's the main priority this season is to get um, a really good goalkeeper if we can. Any recommendations, Josh, or anybody else in the chat? If you've got any goalkeeper recommendations, I would appreciate it. Oh, I skipped that too quick there. Right. Oh, wrong one. Um, so we've got 200 million. I'm absolutely gobsmacked by that, to be honest, because we only got a top five place when I looked originally. So we can get a really good goalkeeper with that money. Like a really, like the best goalkeeper in the world, basically, which we, we want to aim for, really. We want to aim for the best players so we go goalkeeper roll sweeper keeper um we won't do anything like that we'll just leave it as that right okay and then we'll go recommendations we've got trubbin 23 he's a really good goalkeeper so we'll go for him we do need a backup goalkeeper as well well, we'd actually, no, we don't. We could keep Sheppard and Pope there as backups, I suppose. Diego Costa. Maybe we could sign both of these. That would be insane, though, wouldn't it? Signing both of them. But, you yeah. know. Right, and we also need a left, a right back, because Trippy is getting on a bit now. We go for the best right backs possible. Um, Why is that not coming up? Oh, I don't know why. Uh, wing back. Is it wing back I play? Is it wing back I play in my tactics? Yeah, wing back. All right, so we've got wing backs here. Coyote, somebody recommended him to me the other day, actually, Coyote, so we'll go for him. So that's. We go for him, and then we go for a left back. Well. Um, Theo Fernandez, 27, probably the best of the bunch, any. Oh no, he's way too expensive. We won't go for him. Right, let's see who else we can go. Tyreek Mitchell. I, he's not good enough. Uh, I'll scout report him, but I just don't think he's good enough. Any recommendations for left backs, Josh? I don't know why, but I can't think of any. None of them are coming into my head. Turkeys from who went to went to Bournemouth and then went to them. But yeah, they did well sign him for thirteen and a half million. Amadou Dante, never heard him before. Who's he wanted by? Napoli? Oh, he's probably pretty decent. We'll sign him because we could have him as backup if it comes down to it. Sign him. Uh, we do with like a really good left back. He wanted by. Nah, he's not good enough. 
Is he any good? Uh, okay, we might. We'll go for him. We'll probably get all that transfer business done within. I think by the end of this stream, and then we'll just get forward. Try and go for quality in certain positions. Yeah. Oh yeah, Josh Doig. Yeah, I'll have a look at him as well. Omar Campos. If I don't get the other two, I'll have a look at them. But yeah, Coyote is ridiculously good. Uh, True Rinner is a greedy bugger. He wants 375k a week. He's not too bad. 300k a week, I suppose. Yeah, we'll sign them two as goalkeepers, and then that's our goalkeepers sorted for the next couple of years. Because even if one of them moans about not playing as much, um, we can just sell him and then hopefully make profit on him. Um, there's him, him done, and then him done. Right, I think there's one player, there's a couple of players I, I remember from my uh, Anderson Durate, I'm thinking of. Yeah, Anderson Durate, he plays for Nottingham Forest on here. Take out him, we'll probably sign him. Um, Valentin Barco is going to Brighton in real life. Oh, so still at Barco, we could sign him. And he's a left back. I completely forgot about him. Completely forgot he plays left back. Sign him. Um, Luciano Rodriguez. Another good player. Right, so that's them done. Uh, we'll just negotiate the contract. Uh, actually, we can't sign any of these. Uh, can we shift some of the money? And let's do that. How much do you want? We'll do that. Do that. Yeah, that's him done. We'll probably sell a couple of the rubbish players that are still here. Um, talk to board. Let's see if we can convince them to let us sign him. That's annoying. Um, how much do they want for him? Oh, that's why. Doesn't look like we're signing Barker anytime soon, though, which is annoying. Yeah, I'll have a look at Resty's. Uh, uh, yeah, I've gone for me. I've sorted my goalkeepers out now. Um, I'll have a look. What's his first name? Restes? Do you know? If I just type in Restes, it will take me forever to find him, I think. Right, let's just go through this. We did win the Charity Shield, so we won something, even though it wasn't that important. We finished fifth, as I said. Um, so 643,000 shirts with Osimhen, Gordon, Messi, Isaac, and Tenali being the, uh, the top five. Team of the team of the season was Pope in goal, Livermento was right back, Diamande in the centre defence with Botman, Harvitz left back, Bruno Gamerez in the middle of the midfield with Tonali, Messi on the right, Brahim, Diaz and Gordon, and Osimen. Osimen won the player of the season, Gordon won the young player of the season, Tonali got the goal of the season, Osimen was a uh, top goal scorer, Kieran Trippier had most assists. Anthony Gordon had the best average rating. Most passes completed for 90 minutes was Inzacio. And then Korea got the broke the record for most assists by a player at the club in a season. Youngest player uh, to ever come through Newcastle was Tyler Jones. And the highest transfer fee paid was Ossingham for 85.74 million. Support profile, we're up on the court, down on the family, down on the fair, we're up on the casual. Uh, social media followers went down by 1.3 million. I've never seen social media followers go down. Whenever I've done a save, they've always gone up. That's a weird one. Right, I'll just do this, do that, do that, do that, do that. Won't bother with that for now. Do that, do that. Sorry if I'm going too fast, but I just it just balls the hell out of me doing this. Right, I just need to adjust myself on my sofa. Move the camera back in place like so. There we are. 
Uh, right, team resort, team report. Got a number of talented prospects. Here's all of them. I'm concerned about kicking among the goalkeepers, but hopefully that'll be sorted. Uh, we'll just leave it rest for now. Where are we going to go for our pre-season tour? We'll, we'll go to USA. Hopefully I'll get us brings in some money. We have, we have got offers for Korea. Yep, we'll accept them. Sorry, Josh, I was busy uh, doing that. Oh, uh, okay. I'll add, him, I'll, add rest, I'll add rest this to the short list, but I'm all right, I think I'm all right at the moment. Um, oh, yeah, I think if I've got, if I've got space, if I've got the money, I will, I will use the money for that I get for Korea to get a, a new attacking midfielder, I think. Probably we'll look at that player that you just recommended, Oscar Blocko, if he's, if he's available and, and for the right fee. But yeah. I'm pretty decent in decent in the attacking positions. I think I've got pretty much good with that one. I might bring Deli Ali to be honest, just for a laugh, because I always sign him in my saves, and he went to Rotherham, so I'll only, I'm just signing him to appease me really. Um, but yeah, seven and a half million, fine. All right, let's have a look at rest days. Playing for Talese at the moment. I could always sign him, I suppose. I'll sign him if I've got the money, I'll sign him. Might not be able to sign one of the other goalkeepers at this rate, so... Oscar... Block. I'll do that. There we are. Playing for Atletico Madrid, so he must have just... He must have signed his time from last season. He's at our price range at the moment. Right, let's have a look at the squad. Let's see who... We can sell. Yeah, I'll tell you where for it because I've never heard of him before. Um, never heard of Restes before, so I'll take you where for it. But let's have a look at the players that aren't that just aren't good enough. Well, he's going. He's probably going to go. I think. Well, uh, Busquets will probably go. I think. Still get a decent fee for him, actually. To be honest. I think we didn't pay much for him. He's not good enough, so he can go. Right, so we'll offer him out. Uh, he's not... Didn't I just offer him? Oh, yeah, I just offered him out. Uh, Luis Suarez can go. He's not good enough. I only basically brought him because he was Messi's mate. I wanted Messi to be happy. Matthew Target, yeah, I think Matthew Target needs to go. I think he's he's done okay this season, but I think we need to get a better left back in him. If I sell Target, I'll probably try and go for Barco again to replace him. But he's done well for his Target in the past. Hope we'll get rid of. Hope you're out the door, hopefully. We'll get rid of Sherpin as well, because if we're going to get Restes in, we might as well get rid of both of the rubbish goalkeepers. Restes can be like third choice. We'll have him out the door. Career, we're already selling. Hmm, Joe Linton, we'll keep Joe Linton for now. We'll keep Trippier for now. I think that's it, really. I think the rest of the squad we're going to keep. Unless there's anybody that's just, I think we could cash in on if he's not really doing that well. Nah, that's it. Right. Deli Ali. Prepare to endorse it. I'm going to resurrect Deli Ali's career at Newcastle. Uh. Reject the loan back. You doing much tonight, Josh? Just relaxing, are you? What time is it now? Uh, 
okay with us and just answering messages on my phone. Bear with me, sorry about this. All right. Okay, so that's that done. Right, so we've had an offer for Pope. I'll just accept that because I don't want to faff around with negotiating. Durate is going to join us. Costa hopefully will get his work permanent sorted. Ah, you have a little romantic night, dearie. Ah. Yeah. Been looking after you, so she's uh, you looking out for her now, mate. Fair play to you. Yeah, Tyrick Mitchell's only three stars, so if we signed him, he'd, he'd, he'd digress over time, he wouldn't get better. But it was a good idea not to sign him. Coming up to an hour on the stream. Hello, anybody else that's in the uh, in the chat? Um, nice to meet you all. Feel free to message me in the chat. Me and Josh are just having a conversation. <laughs> like I said, we're all friends. We've known each other for a while. Right, so we're definitely signing Dele Alley. Rotherham's done well out of that deal. They they sold him. They sold him on a free. He actually played really well last season in League One. Granted, it was only League One, but 13 assists and 9 goals. So he's uh, he's not going to be playing much for us. I might just force him to play, just for a laugh, just to see if he does well. Just put him in the first team for the next five or six, the first five, six of the game, five or six games of the season. Maybe a bit of game time, he'll start picking his form up. Hope's out the door. That's a bit of extra money in. Um, this bit's probably a bit boring, isn't it? Because we're just going through the days now until pre-season and stuff. Newcastle United had Victor Osimhen in the African 11 of the year. He also won the overall footballer of the year in Africa. Um, and Diaz won... Um, Diaz won the African midfielder of the year and then Victor Osimhen... Ossinghen won the strike of the year. Never heard of Opa. Never heard of him. Simon Benzer. Scored 18 goals for Braga last season. I'll have a little scout report on him. Always good to get these unheard of African players. I think he played for TP. Yeah, we did. TP Masambi. Did all right at Young Boys, went on, did all right, did okay at Villa. So, uh, yeah, Austin M, Gordon, Messi, Isaac, uh, Isaiah, Isaac, sorry, and Tenali. So, uh, yeah, the, the chairman, are, the, the owners are quite, look, I mean, look at that, 286 million. Don't need to improve anything on the side of things. So in time we might get I mean look at the projection here. So we're gonna get some healthy transfer budgets moving forward. But I'm only doing another season anyway. I might just what I'll do is I'll probably keep this save as an offline save afterwards when I'm not doing um, Twitch or YouTube just to just to chill out and play a bit of FM and not have to concentrate on it. Careers out the door. So, so basically, Josh, what I'm going to do is after I finish season three, I'm going to start a European journeyman save where I start with, there's two options. There's the European journeyman save where I start with no badges, Sunday league rep, have about 10 different leagues, but about five or six of the big countries loaded up, but with the, with editor files, I'll have the 
lower division so i'll have like the lower lower leagues of italy france germany spain england and then what i'll do is i'll just I'll, i'm going to holiday for six months get to the 31st of december and then i'm going to start applying for jobs because if i start at the start of the season that you'll just get the same team so if i do it a little bit um where i start from say six months into the season not six months sorry three or four months into the season so there'll be different jobs available and that and then basically um see how i get on with that really and do that for a bit it'll probably be the long-term save that i do on twitch and then the other idea is to start a youth only save with wigan athletic but i don't necessarily need to do that for streaming content i can do that on my own it's just something i do for fun but i'm currently doing a save with people rovers because my, my dad was born in peebles on the scottish borders so i want to try and get them to win the scottish premiership before I, I start a new save offline but um doing well with peebles at the moment i just i just finished i think it's like the 11th or 12th season there and i managed to get them promoted to the scottish championship so yeah so that'll be interesting but a stadium so bad it's only it can only hold one one thousand two hundred and fifty people um so it's a bit rubbish really but it's a good say i'm enjoying it like i said i can just chill when i play it because i don't need to put much concentration into it i don't need to do like things like talking and stuff like that i can just play the game so we brought in oh rest as we can't bring in what uh because we've signed so we can't get rest as in josh sorry mate we've already signed too many players under the age of 21. We can sign Costa though. Who's the worst one out of these? They're all pretty good physios, to be honest. There we go. Lee Watkins, you'll do. Yeah, I might do. I might do. Um, I'm hoping win the premiership again if i win the premiership game with newcastle i might do a new, another season with newcastle just to try and win the champions league because i'm in no real rush to start the european journey man save i'm also going to start um a youtube save after i after i've done a few seasons with everton where i'm going to i've, I've ordered a, a mystery football shirt from surprise uk and i'm going to basically um manage whichever team i get in that in that football shirt box that'll be interesting yeah mancini not happy so he's so we're going to transfer we're going to get him out the door oh have i already signed durate he's not very good he's not rated very good on this one durate's used durate was pretty good for me uh, i've already agreed to deal with him nothing i can do i can't cancel it now Right, KOD is in the door. Oh no, he's not. It's been cancelled. That's really annoying. Oh. oh, I think it's just because the season hasn't ended. So we'll try and sign KOD afterwards, hopefully. That's annoying because KOD is a really good right back. It'll be really annoying if it doesn't uh, happen. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Um, a video of me opening up the the box and that and then i might do that live on twitch at some point or i might do it on youtube or i might just leave it and do, record it and then just post it out just before i start the save but we'll see Isaac is wanted do we cash in on Isaac? maybe nah nah we won't, we won't cash in on him Anything we should sign him a new get him to sign a new contract. Oh, he doesn't want to go. Oh, okay, maybe we. Suck. I mean, can we bring in anybody just as good as him? No. When's his contract expire? Ah, now we'll leave it. We have got him for three years. It don't matter. Right, Trubin. Yeah, he's twenty three, so we do definitely sign him. So that's the goalkeeper sorted. We might need to go into the market for a, an over twenty one year old right back at this rate, but we'll see. See what uh, how much money we've got. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. 
Resters, yeah. We'll try and sign Resters again in a bit. We'll wait for the season to start because I think this is still class as last season, so might not be able to sign him because the transfer window's not opened yet either. Officially. Da, da, da. Right, Target annoyingly rejects the move to Everton. That is annoying because I think they came up with a decent offer for him as well. Right, we'll just unspecify. Offer him out. We'll offer to pay 20 grand of his wages. Oh, typical. His value's gone down 7.5 million now. Turpin rejects the bloody offer. Turpin, you're not wanted. You've done well, but we don't want you here no more. He's pretty good. Nicholas Gonzalez. Never heard of him before. Who's he played for before? Ah, never heard of him. Right, how long we played? Uh, we'll 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 keep we'll play till four o'clock, I think. Or just after four o'clock. I'll try and do two hours. Uh right, we've had an offer for Suarez. We'll get still yet to go. Let's right. Can we hire an intermediary? No, we can't. Offer him out. Let's just offer to pay all of his wages, half his wages, that'll do. Reffin, we've already offered you out, but we'll offer you out again. Offer to pay half your wages for you. Offer you out as well. No, okay, do this. And we'll do that. Just want to get them players out the door now. Right, so we sign Amadou Dante. Cross good prospect there. Um, number will set you to release. You're out the door. Uh, they're good enough, so they'll go. Minte, good old Minte. Sign him to a new contract, I think. I am try and play him and Lewis Marley a bit more this season, I think, hopefully. Probably forget about that though at some point. I'll probably say I'm gonna do it and then I'll forget. Right. Um Mancini. From out again. I will pay some of his wages. Yeah, no worries, Josh. You carry on, mate. Thank you. I appreciate you uh, joining in. Uh, anybody there else there, feel free to say hello. KOD. We definitely want. When are you 22 KOD? KOD is. So he's 22 in about a month's time. Oh, no, 21. He's only 20. Oh, that's annoying. I thought he was 21. I thought he'd be 22 next month. We signed him then. No, he's not good enough, so we won't bother with him. Why was he? Um, none of our players were in there. 
Donna Rama, Don, Donna Rura, uh, Donna, Donna Rumor, Donna Rumor, Donna Rumor, Donna Rumor, sorry. Um, he was another option, but he was older, so I decided against that. With Costa and Trubin, we've probably got goalkeepers that can play for the team for the next 10 years. Signed. Is he old enough? He's not, he's not 20, oh, he's 21. Um, it hasn't been cancelled, yeah. We've signed Luciano Rodriguez. That will just... Um, yeah. uh, I'll just cancel it. We've got enough good physios as this. All right. Hello to anybody else that's just joined the Twitch chat. Feel free to message in the chat room and say hello. Happy to chat to you while I'm playing. We just finished the set, uh, the second season with Newcastle. We finished fifth in the league. Um, we didn't get top four that we were hoping for. Um, we didn't win anything else either. We got knocked out of the quarterfinals again in the Champions League. My aim is to try and win the Champions League in this save at some point before I finish it up. Was I'm I am I'm thinking of just doing one more season, but I might do another one if it, if it, if there's enough. Demand for it. Yeah, this is the boring part, really, where we just go through this as quickly as possible. But yeah, the transfer window opens in a, in a minute, so hopefully we can sign uh, Coyote. How much money? How much transfer budget we got? Oh, we only got twenty three million now. Good start to that. Can we improve anything? No. By the looks of it, we're going to have to sell before we can buy, really. I think if I get Cody in, I'll be happy with that. I think that'll be the end of the transfer business for me if I can get that done. But so far, we've signed Deli Ali, Hartman, Trubin, Costa, Dante, Durate, somebody else. Uh, okay. Nobody wants to go for target now, which is annoying. Just keep offering him out. Hopefully somebody... That's good. Minte signed a new contract. Good lad. Nobody wants to go for Busquets. So we'll just mutually terminate his contract. Or mutually... No, we won't. we won't mutually terminate your contract just in case. We will mutually contract terminate yours. Probably won't agree, but we'll try. Samuel Adose, who was actually good, he's actually doing really well for me in my Everton save on YouTube. Never heard of you, but I'll add you as well. Oh, Busquets is gone. That's good. You won't go though. You're annoying. You're getting released anyway. Yeah, I hope everyone. Is uh, having a nice afternoon. Lionel Messi has announced his retirement from international football. So um, he made 196 appearances for Argentina and scored 111 goals. Let's just give a round of applause to Lionel Messi, greatest of all time, retiring. He's still absolutely been amazing for us this season. And I'll sign a new contract, I reckon. Oh, we will. Um, get rid of that though, because I don't, I can't guarantee that. Uh, I'm not going to do that either. Okay. So right, okay. I mean, he only wants a one-year contract, but ah, oh, that's annoying. Okay. When's his uh, when's his contract expire anyway? What's the point in that? He's doubling his wage. No, we're not doing that. You can sod off. Unless you extend your contract for another for two years, you went. I'm not bumping up by up to six hundred k. I do love you, Messi, but I don't love you that much. Right, Clint. Um, so the face packs I got from it'll be either on the Steam Workshop. I can't remember for definite, or it'll be on. So there's a couple of places I use. I use fmscout.com. 
as well. That's another good one. If you search for face packs on there, and there is another one called Sorted Out Sci. I think it's spelt this Sorted Out. Oh, sorted Out Sci. You Google that, that should come up with something. And there's also, if you type in FM Slovakia as well, there's lots of things like kits and things like on there. So they're usually the ones I go to. I can't remember exactly where I got. I'll, I'll have a look. Um, let me just have a quick look at. I'll try, I'll, find, I'll I'll tell you what the names of the face packs are, so you can then Google search them, and then you'll be able to find them that way. So here we go. I'll just have a quick look in the folder. Uh, graphics faces. So it, they're called the DT face packs. They're very easy to find. You've got the D. If you Google DT, if you if you if you Google DF11 Mega Pack, there's an updated version of that on there. Um, and then there's also DT faces and DT icon faces. But if you just type in DT face packs or DF face packs into Google, you should be able to find. But if you check their websites as well, that's where I get the backgrounds and everything from. So yeah. Um, I get my kits from from there, and FM Slovakia is a really good place to find kits from all sorts of different nations and the lower leagues in them nations as well. They do a really good job of that. But yeah, thank you for contributing. Um, I'm just I've just finished season two, so season one I won the Premiership with Newcastle in my first season, got to the quarterfinal of the Champions League. And then in the summer of the, the after the first season, I signed Leo Messi, Victor Osimhen, uh, and a few other players as well. Um, and then I got this season. This season just gone. Season two, I managed to get top five. Um, so if I show you here, top five, I didn't get in the Champions League, which was annoying. I think I think I didn't get in the Champions League. I could be wrong, but um, but yeah, fifth, fifth place. And then I've signed a few players in the in, coming in the summer, so hopefully it'll improve the team a bit more. But yeah, how are you doing today, Clint? Are you having a nice day? What team are you managing at the moment? Luis Suarez out the door, going to Oceana. Um, hopefully I can get that Michael Coyote. He'd be a good signer. Yeah, cheers, buddy. Thank you. Uh, yeah, my day's been all right. I'm just trying to keep warm. My flat has got no, literally no central heating. So it's really cold in here. I've got a storage heater and it doesn't heat up very well. So um but I'm kind of stuck where I am because I don't have much money coming in each month because I'm only only got a certain amount. So um, and because of rental prices just being ridiculously overpriced at the moment, nobody can rent anywhere, and then there's literally barely any properties to rent as it is. So it's kind of stuck where I am. My landlord's decided to pull up the rent by a hundred quid, which he knows I can't afford. So he's kind of like forcing me out at the moment. So they've they've been giving me um. They called it a section. They called it a section twenty-one, and then that takes a few weeks, and then that, and then they take me to court. Um, but like I said, at the end of the day, they can't get blood out of a stone, so I'll have to go to court, and then they'll probably get bailiffs involved. But th this whole process will take months, and I'm trying to look for somewhere. But me and my me and my girlfriend looked yesterday, and there was just barely anything there. If if, if anything, it's going to cost me more each month if I move and I just haven't got the money. She's gonna help me a little bit because she's gonna be living with me, but even between the two of us it's just it's just ridiculous to do that. But it's unfortunately the situation we're in at the moment. These bloody landlords are greedy. Um don't get me wrong, so some of them have to put their prices up because of the fact that they their costs have gone up. But at the end of that a lot of these landlords are making a hell of a lot of money each month and they don't need to be putting their prices up. Right, Dilly Ali through the door.
Oh, you're Arsenal. Fair play. How are you doing with Arsenal then? Are you, you just, did you sign anybody good? Um, like I said, um, we've got Adele Ali come through the door. He had a very successful season with Rotherham and League One. We've got this player here called, I'm not even going to pronounce his first name. That is just ridiculous. I'm just going to call him Hartman. The Hartman comes in from Reynold. Um, a decent left back cover. We've signed two goalkeepers. We've signed Anna, Anatoly Trubin, who's literally ridiculously good. Um, we've also signed Diego Costa, who's world class as well. So they'll be fighting for the first team jersey. Signed this player here, Anderson. Uh, Anderson. Um, sorry, and um, I can't get my words out. Amadou Dante, who's also be good as uh, left back cover. We signed Anderson Durate, who I'm going to now send out on loan. Hopefully he'll get some decent experience and be better. Uh, the, the fans are let down by that signing. We're also let down by this player here, but he is very good. We're also going to send him out on loan, Luciano Rodriguez, one for the future. I wanted to sign Valentin Barco, but I didn't have enough money. Um, Right, let's see if I can sign Michael Kyoto now. Uh, right. So let's try twenty-five million, and then try twenty-five million. No balls. Okay. Uh, let's try upping that to thirty-five million with twenty-five million instalments. Hopefully they will be more accepting of that because our budgets will not be able to pay for this, right? Unless, have I got any other players coming out the door? Oops. No. I can't sell anybody else really because I've got a small squad. Yeah, but thank you, uh, Clint. Um, thank you for joining. Uh, I usually I usually stream. Oh, I'm just fixing my webcam. There we go. I usually stream most weekdays. I won't be streaming tomorrow, everybody. By the way, um, I'm gonna go to a funeral for my godfather, so um, I won't be. I won't have time to stream tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'll be back on Thursday and then Friday, and then. Hopefully next week will be pretty easy. I don't think I've got anything planned next week, so that I know of. So most most days, Monday to Friday next week, I should be streaming. Um, I also have a YouTube channel as well. Um, Clint, if you're paying, to, uh, if you're still there, mate. Are oh, you still there? That's all right. Are oh, you signed uh, Rafina Barco, Ivan Tony, and, and Martinez? That's some good signings for us, and they are. They'd like them in real life, wouldn't they? They would definitely improve their team. Uh, Hotman's not happy. Why are you not happy? Why are you not happy? You're my best central defender. Why are you not happy? Let's find out. Happiness. Wants to leave. Oh, that's why. Okay. No, I understand, Botman. I understand. If anybody can pay the 80 odd million, then they can have you. Because that would be a good signing. Um, that would be a good business. We get 80 million for you when we only sign them for 35. For that, and uh, we don't want to keep players that are not happy here. You, Fiorentina, you taking the piss, right? Sorry for swearing. Uh, let's see if the board will, right? No, uh, they are not budging. Okay, KOD might be not happy. Then, hold on, let's negotiate. Uh, we'll go 30 million. Let's lock that in. Let's lock this in at 30 million as well. Let's hope they are happy. Uh, okay. Um, we'll go five million. We'll lock that in. Five million. We'll lock that in. We'll lock that in as well. That's all right then. That works out a decent deal. But, uh, oh, has Martinez not been playing very well there? Oh, bloody hell. Cost you 100 million and then we scored a goal. Is it your tactic, maybe? 
It might be a tactic, mate. It might be something to do with that. Um, sometimes it is just about just finding the right tactic for the players that you got. But yeah, anybody that's watching on the Twitch, if you ever want to watch these streams and you, you come into it a bit too late, don't worry about it. I've got video on demand on here for seven days, but I've also got, I also upload the full streams onto my YouTube channel, which is also, also um, Lutra FM. If you search for Lutra FM on YouTube, you'll find me on there. So um, feel free to subscribe and like my videos on there. I do appreciate it. Any extra subscribers are getting makes it better for me in the long run so then that way you keep up to date with the latest stuff i'm doing on there because i've got an everton save on there at the moment where i took over them in the end of the first season because they get so basically the end of the first season they get relegated to the championship but they get taken over um in the first season by a tycoon so i, I get given a hell of a lot of money considering i'm in the championship so it's it's been a fun save because I I created my own tactic, which I've never done before, um, and it's quite a good little one. It's it's more edited down than this, so at least with this you get to see everything. So if you just want to watch the like a an edited version of of it without me talking as much, then obviously you know feel free to check out. Lutra FM on YouTube. But I also have a Twitter page on the same name, Lutra FM, and I tend to I'm gonna start posting when I'm gonna be live streaming and stuff like that. So if you ever wanna find out when I'm gonna be live streaming next, by all means add me on Twitter, Lutra FM. I'm on Facebook as well. If you ever wanna indirectly message me on there about anything, always happy to chat. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Try and try and be a bit more attacking, Clint. Um, have a look at your team instructions. Have a look at that. It might just be bad luck, mate. It might just be, you know, how it is. But yeah, maybe you might need to change the tactic, change to a different formation, maybe. Uh, we won't go for him because he's not good enough. Uh, we'll get rid of you because you're not good enough. A lot of teams after him for some bloody reason. I don't know why. Um, apparently, Dur uh, apparently, Durate is an important member of the Newcastle squad, but he's he's not. I don't know why they're saying that. Uh, he's not good enough, however. We'll hopefully cash in on him as well, get some extra money. And they're only going to be two. When well, they've only got two and a half stars potential, they're not. As far as I'm concerned, they're not good enough. Yeah, let me know. Feel free to let me know how you get on. Um, I tell you what, if you ever want someone to look at your save file, I know that Zealand, uh, Z E A L A N D, he does like YouTube videos where he saves people's saves. So it might be worth you getting in touch with him on Twitter, or he's called, I think he's called The Old Zealand on Twitter. Have a look on there, message him. See if he'll take a look at your save because he does, like I said, he does videos where he um, helps people with their saves, whether it's you know tactics or whatever. So he'll probably be able to help you out if you need to. If not, just back on with it as well, uh, as well, mate. You'll you'll figure it out. I think sometimes it's better to do it yourself because you, you get that satisfaction of being able to fix it yourself. But I'm saying if you get really stuck. Um, Dan Byrne looks like he's going to Roma. Uh, what I add? 
him. What about these two? Yeah, we'll add. We won't add Brandt because he's too old, but we'll add Seaman, even though we've got loads of goalkeepers. I don't want to sign another one. All right, we'll definitely get you in as goalkeeping coach. Jesus Christ. 20, 20, I've never seen that before. That's He's ridiculously good, he is. All right, well, that's good timing because we just had a goalkeeper coach retire. How much did Messi set you back? So basically, um, I, I had to pay more than I would like to have paid for him, really, but I paid 20 million for him. Uh, I paid 20 million for him, but I think it's a bargain, really, when you think about it. It's Lionel Messi. I think any club would, if they could sign Lionel Messi and they and it cost them 20 million to sign him, they would probably sign him. Uh, yeah, Lionel Messi. Just quickly show you on here. 20 million. Um, well, 10 goals and got seven assists in his first season with us. We probably got him for another year and then he'll retire next season. So make the most of him while we can. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you. Ossinem. Ossinem was our top goal scorer last season. He got 23 goals for us. Um, I think I remember that bit. But yeah. Uh, let's have a quick look. Yeah, Victor Ossinem in his first season with us. I don't know why it's saying 14 for, but yeah. Um, okay, confusing. 23 goals though, so probably international goals included, but yeah. So he, did, he did well, he did well. He could do better though. He can definitely score more goals. He's got more goals in him, but he was injured for a fair bit, a little bit as well. Matthew Targ keeps bloody turning down all these offers. It's driving me mad. Just bugger off, Target. We don't want you here. No, when you're not wanted, mate. Uh, we'll send him out on loan again. Right, we've managed to sign Coyote. Great little signing. Recommended by Josh. Thank you, Josh. You still there, mate? Uh, I think you're still there, aren't you, Josh? Yeah. We'll see, we'll follow his match reports, we'll see how he gets on. Yeah, Michael Coyote, 20 years old, in Italy international already, probably the best right back in the game. Signed in for 60 million, spread over a few years. He's already rated at 112 to 153 million, best right back in the world probably. So we've definitely improved there. We need to, I don't think we've got that we... We didn't improve enough as left back, so so in the winter window we'll probably get. We did sign left backs, but they're only they're not as good. They're not very good in the long run. Hartman might do all right there though, to be honest. But yeah, Hartman's only three stars. We signed the Amadou um, player as well, and he he's only three stars. So we need like a like a quality. I mean, we would have got Theo Fernandez if we had the money, but we just didn't have the money. Uh, I'm just hoping that the finances. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit difficult, but I think it's realistic to real life, isn't it? Because a lot of clubs do struggle to get rid of players. Man United, for example, if we could have got rid of half the players we've got in our team, we would do it. But it's it's who wants to buy a player that's 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 rubbish? Uh Ryan Kidd, let's give him a round of applause for a great career. Man United, Man City legend, and now Newcastle legend. We will sorely miss you. Right, what time is it now? Okay. So we'll probably do another 15 minutes while we just try and get through this. Oh, that's a good offer for Target, considering he was only valued at 1.5 million. I can't see him going. Just check my phone for a second while we wait for this. Right, so we've had a... Yeah, we'll, accept, we'll just accept every offer we can for him. We'll just get him out the door. How did Lewis Miley do in the end? So he played eight. He played forty-five games for Everton, scored eight goals, and got eight assists while they were in the championship. So we'll sign you to a new contract. We might send him and Minty out for another a year on loan because they just don't think they're good enough at the moment. 
they're good, but I just don't think they'll get in first. They'll get first team football. Oh, for God's sake! You just go away as well. Um. Right. Okay, so that's that. Neil Edwards, greatest goalkeeping coach in the world. Yeah, I think like I said, it depends on what their wages are as well. If they're on high contracts and they end up being rubbish, ridiculously hard to get rid of them. That's why I think football teams should stop giving these players ridiculous wages and and just say to them, look, there's, we're not doing that because it, it doesn't make sense for them in the long run because even if they turn out really well, they're going to be constantly asking for new contracts with better deals. And if they turn out rubbish, you put, you're stuck with a player you can't get rid of. Uh, generating a little bit of money, getting rid of some of these young prospects that just aren't going to be good enough. So, uh, just adjust that into the wage budget. We're uh, we're a little bit over the wage budget at the moment, but we'll probably sort that out. We've still got these two players, hopefully, to go, so that'll generate a bit of money as well. we'll put that in the wage budget, and then that'll be pretty much it then for the transfer window. I think we've done very well, really, considering. Um, just do a quick after we after we've sold them two players. I'll just do a quick overview before I finish the stream. Dortmund after Livermento, I don't think you're going to get him though, because actually saying that though, I've got Kayode and who else is the right back for us? I can't remember now. Trippier. Trippier's old though, isn't he? Livermento's young. Um, does he want to go? Do I sell him? No, he's not unhappy. Happy to be a squad player. As he reckons he's going to be a regular star. If I get rid of him though, I'm going to be able to find a decent player to replace him. So no, and he's English as well, so it helps with squad re registration. Now we'll leave it. Shrepin, you're going. Oh, hold on. He's wanted. Is he on? Former for after him, but they don't want to bloody pay for him. Right, let's try and send him out on loan. Maybe that's how we get him out the door. On loan, mandatory. We go player wage. And we'll do two and a half million. Right, let's try and see if we can send him out on loan. Um. Are you doing much for the rest of your day, Clint? Are you chilling out? Are you going out? Anything exciting? Is there any football matches on today? Right then, let's. Uh, so we're expected to qualify for the Europa Conference League through the through the league. So they don't really have much high expectations for us, really. At least the board's not asking for too much from us. Another ridiculously good goalkeeping coach. I feel like they. Um, when it comes to goalkeeper and goalkeeping coaches on FM, I feel like they just nuke them and they just end up all bit. They end up being really good, and then the other positions like left back, right back, they don't really have. You have way too many really good goalkeepers, but not many good fullbacks. Uh, it looks like Mancini's staying then. I don't really want to get rid of Mancini if I can help. Actually, no, I do actually. I've got enough players in the centre defence. Right, let's try again. Keep offering them out. Eventually, somebody will. Oh, yeah. 
We've got another uh, youngster out the door. Uh, that means the wage, was it? So. Okay. So Molly signs a new contract. Yeah, just relaxing. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm just gonna be chilling. My my girlfriend's coming around later. So um I've got to quickly pop out in a bit for five minutes just to the shop and then I'll come back. I'll probably just give the flat a quick tidy up before she turns up. And then I'll just relax with her, watch TV with her, really, to be honest. So um she's uh she's she's had this really bad cold for the last few days, but she sounded all right on the phone today. She sounded a lot better, so I'm hoping she's all right because uh when she was at, when I was staying at hers last two last two nights when she's been asleep, she's really been struggling to breathe when she's been asleep. She's been proper snoring her head off, bless her. So she's probably shattered. Luckily, she's got two weeks off work starting today, so she can uh, have a few lines when she's at mine. So uh, yeah, other than that, we're probably just we've got loads of stuff recorded. We've watched. We've got a few taskmasters that have happened. Um, like the New Year's special and all that, like, so we'll catch up on them. Um, we've got Planet Earth. We like to watch Planet Earth together because we both love animals. Uh, we'll just be watching stuff like that. Nothing too exciting. Just the way I like it, though. Nice chilled out night. Don't know what we're having for tea, though. I did buy... We'll probably have fish and chips, though, because I did went... I, I went to Iceland earlier. I managed to get um, some battered fish and some chips from there, so I think we'll have that. What you got for what you got for your tea, Clint? Anything exciting, do you reckon? Right. Thank God for that. Sherpin is out the door. He did well for us last season though, so I will get, I will say thank you for you doing well for us. But yeah, he needs to go now. You're out the door. That's more money generating. Get that into the wage budget. We're uh, still over. We got we got nobody else out the door. Oh well. And I request more wage budget. No, I can't. Is there anybody else I can sell? Anchini, but he won't. He, nobody wants him. Uh, Potes. Potes played well for me last season. To be honest, Did he play much. Uh, I'll I'll get rid of Potes. I think. I can't get rid of Mancini, I'm also get rid of Cotez because Cotez is four years old than them. Five years old than them, sorry. So we do that. We just get a few million for him, I'm happy with that. Uh, we get controversial, but I don't know whether to get rid of Trippier or keep him. Because he did really well for us in the first season at Newcastle, but did okay. Now nah, we'll keep him. We'll let him retire here. Right, I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, salt and pepper chicken. You can't go wrong with salt and pepper chicken, mate. We had a really nice Chinese on Saturday night. I had um I had battered pork balls, um, chips and the special curry that had chicken, beef and um prawns in it, and it was really nice. Um I can't remember what my girlfriend had now. She had some egg fried rice meal. She had a couple of my um, some of my chips as well because like, the chips I had were quite big, so I just I let her have some of my chips. And then we had prawn we had them prawn cracker crisps, and I was just munching on them yesterday. <laughs> that was my breakfast yesterday. Right, attracting interest. So Botman is wanted, but you're not going to get him alone. You can sod off. Uh, Unavailable for loan. Botman, if you're going Botman, you're not you're not going you're going for decent money, you're not. The coup is wanted by two best teams in the premiership. Why are you available for loan? You shouldn't be available for loan. Right, sign you a new contract. Scare them away. Anthony Gordon's wanted. Well, that's understandable. We'll 
quickly sign you to new contract as well. Keep you away from the vultures. Isaac, can you sign a new contract? No, you want to go. Okay, I think Isaac is going to leave. Um, not going to stand in his way. He wants to leave. He's unhappy. We just get rid of the unhappy players. Put a clause in though. 20% of the next deal. Right, anybody else that we need to sort out? Livermento, but you're not going anywhere. Mancini, you don't want to leave. Oh, so, here we go. There we go. Like so. Uh, sorry if I'm going too fast. It's just force of habit when I'm playing this. Um, register them. Yeah, pizza's my favourite takeaway, though, if I'm honest with you, if I had to choose. I just love cheese in general. I could easily eat a block of cheese every day, but it's not good for me, so I don't do that. But when I get like really hungry, I'll just cut off a bit of cheese and I'll just munch on it like a, like a little mouse, and, and uh, I love it. Right, I'm going to give it five more minutes. Then I'm going to head off. Um, what time is it now? It's four o'clock. I've still got time to go to the shop. It's fine. So Cassidy went. I want to sign Messi on a new contract. When I tried to do it earlier, he wanted 600 grand and he didn't want to. I don't want to discuss a new time as I wouldn't be able to sign for longer than. Okay, that's fine. But he's going to retire at the end of the next season, though. So we'll make the most of having him for the third season. It'd be nice, though. Um, if I did end the Newcastle save, it'd be, end, it'd be nice to end it with Messi winning us the Premiership for the second time in the save. It's a shame that we never got to win the Champions League. If I do, I might extend it for another season and do four seasons, see if I can win the Champions League. But let's just see how we do in the league this season. I'm not going to be that bothered about the Europa League. I'm just going to rotate players for that game. Got a lot of players. We somehow got 3 million for Isaac Hayden. I don't know how we did that. Juventus want uh, Trippier. If they give us a decent deal for Trippier at 34 years old, I'll probably take it. Lewis Hall. I forgot we had him. Um, I'm going to sell him, I think, because I think... Barely played any first team football for us. We generate some extra cash that we can use to improve in other areas. Uh, we do that. Get a future fee for a future clause for him as well. Oh, so okay, we had some decent offers for. I'll just accept them, even if it does strengthen. You right, Harry? Yeah, yeah. You, you come at the wrong time, mate. I'm just about to finish. <laughs> um. Yeah, cheers, Clint. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers for contributing. I appreciate it. And feel free to come back at uh, any point. But, um, yeah, Harry, we actually won yesterday. Are you as surprised as I am that Man United actually won a game? Um, what was the... Uh, what was the it, it seemed like a good uh, atmosphere at the, in the... Like the crowd, the Wigan fans, and I think the Man United fans as well. They seemed like a, a decent crowd. Oh no, that's 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 a tempting one, isn't it? Uh, uh, no, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't sign him. I can't stand him. Uh, I will sign him though. I think everybody would turn against me if I signed Mason Greenwood, wouldn't they? Harry, shall I sign? Shall I sign? Shall I sign Mason Greenwood for my Newcastle team? What do you reckon? I'll leave it up to Harry. I'll let him decide. Would you sign Mason Greenwood if you had the opportunity to do? Uh, some good free transfers here. Even if I don't end up playing them, um, and sell them on for profit, or like loan them out and then sell them on. Out him. 
Oh, I don't know. I'm tempted to sign. No, I know. No, I know. I know, but because it's FM, and I just think I'm thinking as a, I'm thinking as a businessman, and I'm thinking if I sign him, and he ends up becoming like a hundred million pound rated player, and then I sell him. But no, I can't. I can't do it. I just feel dirty if I signed him. Um, I made a. We can the right level. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, does he? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll try and sign him just to just to see if he does. I won't sign him. I'll just offer him. I'll see if I can get him in. I don't bear with us. Right. Right. Mason Greenwood. I won't actually sign him. I just want to see. No, I think it's because the data files I've got. So I think it edited data profiles. So I could actually go for him. Um. I am selling e He's that boo. Hold on. Right. I'm not. So I'm not. Been, um, uh, decent deal. No, I can't do it. Can't do it. Right. Sign Calvert Lewin, though. No, I'm not doing Harry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I won't. I won't. I won't. Morally, I'm, morally I couldn't. It's the same with Kurt Zuma. I can't sign Kurt Zuma because he's a piece of shit as well. So, um, no, I won't sign. I won't be signing him. Don't worry. You can relax. But yeah, um, I won't be on tomorrow for a stream. I've got to go to a family funeral. My godfather um, died, so I've got to go to that funeral. But um, I will be back on on Thursday at 2 p.m. So thank you to everyone that contributed. Thank you to Josh, my friend. Um, thank you to Clint. And then thank you to Harry as well. I appreciate you coming along. Um, thank you for yesterday as well, Harry, contributing. Much appreciate. Nice to speak to a fellow Man United fan. Um, but yeah, right, that's me done. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. I'm off. Um, and feel free to join in on the Twitch again on 2 p.m. Oh, cheers, Harry. I appreciate it. I wasn't very close to my godfather. I only ever met him twice when I was a little kid. Um, unfortunately, the last couple of years of his life, he was in a home because he got like Alzheimer's, so it was a bit horrible. But he's uh, he's 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 got peace now. He's 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 you know, you know what I mean. So, yeah, so we're just going to go there for support. He was one of my granddad's best friends, hence why he's my godfather. So, out of respect towards my grandparents, I'm going to go. But anyway, um, I'll be back on on Thursday, 2 p.m. for Twitch stream. In the meantime, I will be posting videos on YouTube every day, Everton. And also, today will be, I'll be posting an Everton video in a minute, in a bit. And then also, this stream as well will go on my YouTube. So, Harry, for instance, if you missed out, you want to find out what happened, um, feel free to go on there. But yeah, Lucha FM on Twitch, Lucha FM on YouTube, Lucha FM on Twitter, and Lucha FM on Facebook. So there you go. I've done that bit. I've done my, uh, um, whatever they call it when you're promoting yourself. But yeah, sh a shill. Do, they, do people still say shill? Anyway, I'm off. Right. See you later, Harry. Have a nice evening, mate. All the best.